Hey YouTube, it's Kyperia. Um, my computer is deciding to be really laggy right now, but I'll still try and record this. This is the How the Thing Works video. And I'll start with the ALU. These wires right here are my number input. And they run to the A register, which stores a number, obviously. Um, and then that goes into the ALU. I'll follow that wire. Uh, if I can get through without this terrible lag, uh, toggling fog. And then this wire on the left is the A register. Wire on the right is the B register, which comes from up there. And then let's say I follow adding goes into this full ladder and right here is the output there's a the carry and then it gets ended with this selector wire and then it goes up into this top wire which runs back into the B register And the B register, if I can get over there, runs over here into this little AND gate of, that does complicated stuff that I decided to put in. The video would be too long if I explained. And it comes all the way over to RAM. Actually, I am going to go sleep right now because it's getting dark out. So. Okay. Over here, it comes down from this up here, the B bus right here, and goes into this spiral that goes into all of the inputs of all of the members. And how it works, so it doesn't write to every single one, you have to select it to write to it. If you select it, since this is the selector torch that says this is selected, but there's a lot of them, um, it automatically reads it if you select it, but if you want to write to it, then you have to, there's an AND gate right here that ANDs it with this spiral right here, so that wire, and that's like the write wire that commands the brand to write so that's that and it's just complete repetition every single RAM bank except RAM address 0 since I had to hook this little torch up to take RAM address 0 over to my command ring other than that everything's the same it repeats every four layers so right there is one, and then right there is one. I think it's pretty compact. It's four wide and like seven or eight long, I'm not sure. I have a stack of eight, and then over there is another stack of eight. It's pretty high, except I can still go, I don't know, three or four higher, but I wanted it to be an even eight. And so there's the RAM. Um, let's go to the program counter now. Ouch. Okay, right here's my clock that pulses every so often. And it comes over, this actually, don't yell at me, this actually works. Because right now it's being powered by that which ends, but 
when it's running and it gets powered by that, I actually designed it so it ends there. And this runs into a series of T flip flops. This, if anyone has a better design for T flip flops, since mine has a four delay before it advances, so if anyone can suggest a better T flip flop design, that's not very that's compact please do uh, and then the outputs for the t flip flops come up here cross this to a AND gate that this and the wire right behind it are connected to the same wire and it determines where the input for a selection of which RAM comes from. Right now the program counter is selected, but that's how the other function works. This is the A register, and if that's selected, then it moves from that one, not program counter. But this comes into here, both of these, and to this to a decoder that's similar to the Just Assassin but not exact but thank you for the design it's pretty awesome which then eventually comes over to the torches hey. I saw earlier and I just fell back there and the individual functions would be hard to explain since they're all mashed up into this tangle of wires and it would take 10 hours to follow each one and much less explain it so I'm not going to do that and I think that is conclusion of my video so next video I'm going to do is a counting video I actually just did it, like, when I'm not recording. That's what all the stuff in the B register was, was leftovers from that, so I know that works. And the only function that I have not tested is this one. I have no idea if that's going to work or not. So, yeah. It's pretty awesome. See you later.